So far, we have looked at two rules. Rule number one, what problem my opponent has? Rule number two, what problems do we have? And now, time for rule number three, use your strengths. So in this position, if we ask, does the opponent have any problems? No, the king is safe. He has three pawns in front of him. The rooks are connected. Knights are fine. None of the pawns are weak. Everything is good. What about do we have any problems? No, no problems for us. The king is safe again. No pawns are weak. Rooks are connected. Life is good. Now time for the third question. Where are we strong? We have three pawns here and black has only two pawns. So you can say we have a pawn majority on the queen side. So if we trade these two pawns for these two, we'll have a passer that can become a queen. Also, this bishop is looking this side. That's a good looking bishop. He can help push the pawn, protect it out. So with keeping that in mind, you might come up with a plan to push this pawn. Prepare b4, b5. Black plays a5, preventing b4. Now you prepare it. Get the rook to b1. Next move, you're trying to push. And you get b4, you trade it off, and now you get b5. Kick away the knight, and then you get c6. And finally, you got the passer. You traded these two pawns for these pawns, ended up with a passer, the rook is open, and the bishop protects the pawn, and you can slowly win this out. Next position. Does the black player have any problems? Nope. The king is safe. He has four pawns. And all the pieces are developed. There is no pawn problem. Nothing for him. Do you have any problem? Nope. Three pawns in front. King is safe. Pieces are developed. No double pawns. Nothing for me. And now, what is your strength? Same as last time, you have two pawns versus one. So maybe you want to go a3, a4, a5, b5, trying to push and get a passer rolling. It's a good idea. But look at your bishops. You have double bishops. He has bishop knight. You have the bishop pair advantage. Also, where are the bishops looking? This bishop is looking this side. Also, the other bishop is also looking at this side. So maybe you can attack the king. The queen is also ready. The knight is also ready. And maybe then you come up with the idea h4. Planning to play h5 and kick away the knight. And once you kick away the knight, the knight has to go to f8. And now you even get h6, making some weakness. Now the dark squares are weak. This bishop is going to dominate. You can attack out the king and win the game. After h4, if black tries h5, saying no pushing for you, now he pushed this pawn. Now g5 square is weak. You can hop in with the knight and a crazy knight for you. Also, instead of knight here, you can simply chop off the knight. The h pawn does not defend the knight. He has to take with the f pawn. And now look at this structure. Horrible, horrible pawn structure. You can simply hop in the knight, attack this pawn, get the rook to d file, e file, pressure it out, and slowly win this one. This time you're black. Does the white player have any problems? No. The king is safe. Bro got three pawns. All the pieces are developed, no double pawns, no weakness. What about you? Do you have any problems? Nope. King is safe, all pieces are developed, nothing is passive, looks good. Now, what is your strength? We have four pawns in front of the king and he only has three. So we have the pawn majority. And also the bishop is looking there. The knight, the queen are ready. The rook is on the f file in the e file. And now you might think of going f5, f4, maybe f3. Get the pawn rolling. And you can do that by putting the knight on h7. And next move, you get f5, you get f4, and you get f3. And you pressure the king out. This time you're white. Does the black player has any problems? No. The king, super duper safe. The rooks, connected. The pieces are developed. You might say the bishop is stuck, but not so bad. What about you? Do you have any problem? Okay, there's no pawn on f2, so maybe a tiny bit weak king, but nobody can attack this side, so maybe he's fine. Pieces are developed, bishop is happy, knight is doing okay, so no problem. And what is your strength? 
Oh, my rook has an open f file. That's pretty sweet. Also, this pawn is a passed pawn. There is no pawn in front of him. There's no pawn in the c file and the e file. This pawn can become a queen. You might think of playing rook here. Try to double up the rook, play on the f file. That's a good idea. But what about this pawn? What would happen if you play c4? Next move, you get c5 and get this passer rolling. If he tries b6 to cover c5, then you go b4. Next move, he'll get c5, trade it off, maybe get c6 and you have two connected passers. Last position, black to play. Does the white player has any problem? Seems fine. Okay, he pushed f4, maybe this diagonal is weak, but you do not have a bishop, so the king is fine. The rooks are looking fine, queen is looking fine, this bishop is kinda happy looking at this diagonal. What about you? Do you have any problem? The king is safe, he has three pawns, rooks are doing okay, knight is looking nice, no problem so far I can see. Maybe this is a bit weak pawn, he's alone and can be attacked it out, but the knight defends it, so it's fine. Now, what is your strength? My strength is... We got the pawns in the center. Maybe we can get these pawns rolling. So you might try d4, trying to push this passer through. But now this pawn is weak. He can play knight f3, attack it out. And you cannot push e5, he takes. So before you play d4, prepare e5. So this is the way. Getting in f6, getting e5, maybe trade it out. And then you get two center pawns. Knight f3, push, takes, takes. Look at this. Open f file for the rook. Two pass pawns and you get the win.